Welcome to Module 10 in the series of courses on the fundamentals of telecommunications. Today we'll talk about network access and transmission methods. Once again, I'm Ted Chandler, your instructor for this online course. In this module, you will learn to first recognize simple and complex physical topologies used in data networks. You'll also be able to describe Ethernet and the CSMA CD network access method. You'll also be able to understand the different types of Ethernet access methods, describe the techniques used in the Togan ring, ATM, and FIDI network access methods, and finally, you'll be able to identify the main characteristics of network transmission methods such as X.25, frame relay, T carriers, ISDN, DSL, cable, and sonic. Three simple physical topologies or the layout of nodes on a network exist. They are the bus, star, and ring. Few organizations use simple physical topologies, however, but rather use a hybrid of these simple shapes. The star-wired bus hybrid topology is commonly used on modern Ethernet networks. While the star-wired ring hybrid topology is used on modern token ring networks and mesh topologies in which nodes are directly connected to more than one other node are commonly used on WANs or in wide area networks. Ethernet, as specified in IEEE's 802.3 standard, is a network access method that uses carrier sense multiple access with collision detection to determine how multiple nodes share a single channel. Depending on the type, Ethernet may run over fiber optic cable or twisted pair copper wiring. Ethernet offers between 10 megabits per second and 10 gigabits per second throughput. Ethernet types include 10 base T, 10 base F, 100 base T, 100 base F, and 10 gigabit Ethernet. The 10 represents a maximum throughput of 10 megabits per second, and 100 represents a maximum throughput of 100 megabits per second. Base means baseband transmission for a transmission form in which digital signals are sent through current, direct current pulses applied to the wire. In Ethernet shorthand, the T represents twisted pair, twisted copper pair, and F represents fiber optic cable, the technology's medium, transmission medium. Most Ethernet networks currently use baseband transmission and the star wired hybrid topology. Ethernet specifies protocol at the physical and data link layers of the OSI model that determine how multiple nodes, how multiple nodes share a single network channel. Ethernet is by far the most popular network access method. CSMA CD or carrier sense multiple access with collision detection are the rules for communication used by shared Ethernet networks. Carrier sensing means that the station listens for activity. If it senses no activity, it will transmit. If it does hear activity, it waits and tries again later. If a collision is detected, transmission stops, waits an arbitrary period of time, then retransmits. Multiple access refers to the fact that Ethernet nodes can be connected to a network and can monitor and issue traffic. Today's Ethernet use switches rather than hubs because switches are by far superior in performance and value. 
Hubs are simple pass-on devices that broadcast to all nodes at the same time, so all nodes on the network hear the transmission, causing a lot of traffic with each other's transmission. Switches are intelligent devices that transmit directly from sender to receiver, often in the full duplex mode, or send and receive simultaneously. Token ring is a network access method originally designated by IBM and now specified in IEEE's 802.5 project. Token ring uses token passing to determine which nodes may transmit over a shared channel. It comes in 4, 16, and 100 megabits per second versions and typically runs over UTP and relies, relies on the star-wired hybrid topology. Token ring is a less popular uh, technology than Ethernet and no new token ring networks are being installed today. Fiber Distributed Data Interface, or FIDI, is a 100 megabit per second network access method that runs over double fiber optic rings. Its primary advantage is its reliability, because if one of its rings suffers a fault, data automatically reroutes over the second ring. FIDI was a popular choice for MANS in the late 1980s and early 1990s, when it was essentially the only 100 megabit per second solution. Asynchronous transfer mode, or ATM, is a unique networking technology that uses fixed packets, called cells, and virtual circuits to transmit information at rates up to 9.95 gigabits per second. It is primarily used on large network backbones, such as those operated by network service providers. One significant advantage of ATM is that it can guarantee quality of service, or QoS, which makes it appropriate for voice and video applications. X.25 and Free Frame Relay are packet switch te technologies that rely on the PSTN to deliver data at higher rates than an ordinary telephone line. X.25 is an analog, whereas Frame Relay is digital. Also, X.25 guarantees accurate data delivery and Frame Relay does not. X.25, therefore, is slower than Frame Relay. Both are economical solutions for WAN links. ISDN, or Integrated Service Digital Networks, are dedicated digital network transmission methods that run over PSTS, PSTN lines. It comes in three varieties the PRI, BRI, and BISDN. BRI, which offers a maximum throughput of 128 kilobits per second, is a popular choice among uh, telecommuters. T carriers refer to any transmission method that uses the multiplexing and digitizing techniques first developed by AT&T in 1957 to digitize voice signals. The most popular T carriers for business use are T1s with a capacity of 1.544 megabits per second and the T3s with a capacity of 45 megabits per second. T carriers are dedicated lease lines that may run over twisted pair or fiber optic cables or wireless links. They are classified according to their digital signal or DS levels, whereas DS0 represents 164 kilobits per second channel. A T1 contains 24 of these channels.
Multiplexes are devices that combine voice and data signals on one line. CSU-DSU, or Channel Service Unit, Data Service Unit, is the connection point for T-carrier lines at the customer site. CSU provides termination monitoring, while DSU converts the digital signals used by bridges, routers, and multiplexes into digital signals via, sent via the cabling. T1 technology can use unshielded or shielded twisted pair copper wire. Digital subscriber line, or DSL, is a transmission method that uses advanced data modulation techniques to achieve extraordinary throughput over regular phone lines. It comes in several different varieties. Each type has a, significant, has a unique signaling method and, a, as a result, offers a different throughput. Some are asymmetrical, like ASDL, whereas others are symmetrical, like SDSL. DSL is a dedicated surface, service. It competes with ISDN and cable technologies. Cable technologies use the existing cable TV infrastructure to offer subscribers access to the Internet. To accomplish this, cable companies must upgrade their networks to allow bidirectional signaling. Cable is an asymmetric technology that offers at least as much throughput as, T1, as T1s for much less money. However, cable is a shared network meaning that an entire neighborhood may be sh sharing a fixed amount of bandwidth. Synchronous optical networks, or SONNET, is a transmission method that can provide data transfer rates from 64 gigabits per second, I'm sorry, kilobits per second to 39.8 gigabits per second using the same uh, TDM techniques used by T carriers. It relies on a dual fiber optic ring similar to FIDI technology. This makes it highly fault tolerant. Sonnet rings are costly and are typically used by telecommunication carriers or large uh, or very large organizations. In summary, we discussed in this module three simple physical topologies, the bus, star, and ring. We also talked about Ethernet, that is a network access method using carrier sense multiple access with collision de detection to determine how multiple nodes share a single channel. We talked about Togan ring, which is a network access method originally designed by IPM and now specified by IEEE in its 802.5 project. Finally, we talked about digital subscriber lines, uh, which are transmission methods use, uh, using advanced data modulation techniques to achieve extraordinary throughput over regular phone lines, and it comes in different varieties. This concludes Module 10. Please take Quiz 10 and advance to Module 11 on data network conductivity.